Me and my sister used to take baths together when we were younger and one day I saw her cooter and it was wider than it's supposed to be and I noticed mine isn't like that and mind you she was only like 4 at the time and I was 7 or 8 so I asked my mom why isn't my hole wide like sissies and she checked and she started asking my sister questions like has she ever put it what is up YouTube? It's your girl Brianna and today I'm going to be reacting to some crazy, like when I'm telling you crazy, I'm talking about over the top, R-rated, subway surfer story. If you under the age of, I'd say like 12, if you're not mature, if you get triggered by things such as um, SDX, then I'd advise you to leave the video now. So I'll have another video for you guys to watch because I know I can't just leave everybody out, like that's just rude, but yeah I'm going to look at these crazy stories that siri has to give us or these people behind these accounts okay let's get right into this video one time in second grade i was playing house and myself because i was the dog everyone was staring at me and then i felt something mushy running down my legs and i stood up and felt it and then i put my fingers in front of my face and saw my mushy diarrhea everyone started running away from me so i thought it would be a good idea to chase them with poop on my fingers while i was running i accidentally tripped and the poop got on my face i stood back up and ran again but i ran into a teacher and then she had my mushy poop all over her they called my parents and they came and had to take me home now everyone still calls me diarrhea doggy okay miss diarrhea doggy i'm so sorry that that happened to you um and mushy poop i mean it gets the best of us when you play in house you really have to fit the role if you the dad you gotta be the dad if you the dog then you gotta poop on the ground i mean it's it's mandatory all right next one back in the seventh grade i overhear some eighth grades talking about how they shave their cooter cats and me being the dumb i am I went home and decided I was going to do the same. Okay. When I got home, I'd notice my mom wasn't home, so in my head I was like, let me spice things up by using Nair. After I put the Nair all over my body and waited six minutes, I noticed that my cooter cat and hole looked red. After 10 minutes, my cooter cat started to burn. I searched my symptoms up on Google and found out that I had a first degree burn. Thankfully, some bitch from a blog said that I should put Vaseline on it. For the rest of the week, I couldn't sit down properly. Back in the seven. Okay. So if you did not know, you do not put chemicals near your cooter cats. Um. Next. Before we start, I want to say thank you all for 2,000 followers. It means a You're lot welcome. to me. Anyways, at school there was this girl who thought she was all that. We gonna call her Maya. So Maya was like almost popular. People were scared of her. I was like, hell no, couldn't be me. So one day Maya passing by me and purposely elbows me, gives me a skink look. Mind you, I was already mad that day. I was like, oh hell no, she just didn't. I was about to toss her to Europe, but a teacher told us to go to class or we would be written up. Like two days later, I caught Maya and three of her little followers. We got into it and I beat the sense out of her. Then while she was on the ground, I opened the sewer top and threw her and her phone in there. Now elbow Pennywise, bitch. Before we... S Whoa! Okay, so Maya was being a new person. And now she's with Pennywise. Also, guys, I kind of want to recreate this. If I do, it's going to be in the video. If I don't, next! So back when we went to school, I was in a band. We went to a football game late at night. The game was pretty far from home. We were on a bus and it was dark. Of course we had fun. Then you know we lit and there were the clowns in the back of the bus playing moaning sounds on their phones. Oh, they did it the whole drive but at one point they stopped for like 5 minutes and we still all heard moaning. Everyone was confused as hell. So the bus driver actually was pissed cause he had already said to stop. So the bus driver turned on the lights on and our band director walked to the back of the bus. He was shocked. I mean like terrified shocked. Then there they go. The two weird kids getting it on in the seat. I couldn't believe my eyes. They were expelled, of course, but I will never forget that. Crazy, right? So bad. This one is almost believe. Like I'm not gonna cap to you. Like this one just sounds like it actually happened. Like imagine you coming home from a school game, little clouds clown, you know, like you know, playing on the nose like usual, and then they stop. Or like they tell them to stop, so they do, you know, they don't push limits. 
but it keeps going. Oh wow. Maybe they couldn't wait till they got home. Maybe they just no, nah, they just nasty. They just nasty. Nick. In third grade, I moved to a new school. I got bullied because this one time I wore yellow sneakers to school. People called me piss feet. So on the last week of school, I forced myself to be friends with the girl who made up the nickname. And then when the last day came, I made her play tag with me and I pushed her into the poison ivy bush beside the forbidden part of the playground. I said it was an accident, but obviously it wasn't. I also decided to give the whole class cupcakes and I made this special one for her. I put mustard in the icing and I guess she was allergic because she began to vomit everywhere and nobody ever found out it was me. So basically everybody called her piss feet because she wore yellow shoes and the girl who made the name, she became friends with her and then she sabotaged her and everybody else in the classroom. I like the way you think. Next! I'm 16 years old. And last year when I was walking home from school, I saw two little kids that couldn't be older than nine were walking home a little bit in front of me. I assumed they were brother and sister. Anyway, me being so much bigger with longer legs, I eventually started to catch up to them. And right when I was about to turn off into my street, I noticed a car pulled up next to them and asked them to get in. My heart stopped when I heard the older one say, but mister, we don't know you. After that, I kept walking towards them and screamed out, Lucy. Mark, because I didn't know their actual names, and they both looked at me. I ran up and said, guys don't run off on me like that. Stay close. I pretended like I didn't see the car pulled up next to them and walked with them until the car drove off. They asked me who I was but I just kept telling them to be quiet until the man goes away. When the guy left I told them not to talk to strangers and walk them home. I explained to their parents what happened and I don't think I've ever seen more grateful parents. Yo. And it's crazy how often this stuff happens. Like, it's kids walking the streets younger than me getting snatched up. But in this case, she was the hero. Like, not all heroes wear capes. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you just gotta think quick on your feet. And that's what she did. And I really respect her for that. Like, that's... I'm trying to be like that. Like, I don't know. Like, I just really... I really admire that. Because that was... That was that was real cool, and I know the parents was just so happy. Hopefully they um they stopped like let, maybe they were walking home from their like bus stop or something. You know you can't really help that, but hopefully they take more precautions to their kids. Crazy world we live in. Next. During the summer, I was in a relationship with a kid named Jason. Things got carried away the first few weeks when his dad called my phone and asked me to come over and help him finish up his pool. Once I arrived at his house, his dad welcomed me into the house but then told me Jason wasn't there. I was confused but decided to wait until Jason oh, came home. Please. His dad welcomed me to food, TV, etc. His dad is smoking hot so I did whatever I had to to make him comfortable with me. Turns out he was more than comfortable with me. He called me up the room a few hours later and told me to be very quiet. I realized what was about to happen but I didn't care. I wanted him. He stripped me down to my kitty jar and I was so horny. A few weeks later I had to break up with Jason because I took a pregnancy test and it tested positive. Okay, I'm done. That that was just that was just too far. That was just too far. But guys, um let me know if y'all want me to show y'all how to make these types of uh stories things because I actually think they're pretty entertaining. It's kind of just like webhead and i don't know they're just really cool that is all that i have for you guys today if you guys enjoyed this video please leave a big fat thumbs up comment what should i be doing next subscribe if you haven't already because we're on the road to 5k y'all i kid you not my goal for this whole entire year was 5k and i'm gonna hit that like in a week so i just really want to take the time to thank y'all and like i really appreciate y'all because y'all don't understand like y'all helping my dreams come true like all I wanted to do was film and make people happy and that's what I'm doing and I'm just so happy like oh my god don't make me cry but yeah um go ahead and follow my social medias down below to keep up with me right now I'm taking a break from social media because it's toxic and I don't like it but yeah that's all that I have for you guys today so good oh wait what am I saying uh love you guys goodbye <laughs>